Zyder Crusaders, we've talked a lot in the show about this idea of transgenderism and, and all the problems associated with it. One of the most obvious <laughs> is boys competing in girls' sports. Like, what are we doing here? And a couple of different governors are passing some legislation to, well, some are banning it and some are allowing it. And Christy Nome, the governor of South Dakota yesterday, decided not to sign a bill that would prevent boys from competing in girls' sports. She was on Tucker's show last night, and uh, Tucker got after her about it. John Schwepp is here. is the policy director of the American Principles Project. John, how are you, brother? I'm good. How are you doing? I'm glad you're here. I have not been following the South Dakota bill. So tell me exactly what the South Dakota bill does. Well, this is it's pretty simple, really. It's a uh, ban on biological males competing in women's sports. Um, and this is something that's been talked about in South Dakota for months. Uh, the legislature has been working on it. It passed the House in February. Uh, it passed out of the Senate in early March. And then uh, Governor Nome came out and said she was very excited to sign the bill. Uh, and then there were two weeks that passed and uh, she kind of throws out all of the conservatives in the state, uh, was talking exclusively to the Chamber of Commerce, to Amazon, to the NCAA, to all these moneyed interests. And uh, ultimately she decided to, uh, to veto effectively. Um, and, and it's kind of stunning. Uh, I think a lot of us don't really know why. Um, and when she explained last night on Tucker, as you may have seen, I think a lot of us are still asking why. Um, it's not really clear. Wow, weird. So I want to get to Amazon in a second because that's weird. But the N N uh, AA, not NAACP, NC2A, they, um, are, they, are they taking the position that boys should be allowed to compete in, in girls' sports? Is that their stance? Well, you know, the funny thing is actually the NCAA doesn't have a statutory position on this. So there's actually states that have passed women's sports bills, um, Idaho being one that, that passed last year. Um, and there haven't really been repercussions yet from the NCAA. Okay. So I think, you know, there is the chance. And I think it's realistic. Uh, the left likes to take these states. We saw it in North Carolina in 2016 and uh, make an example out of them and really go after them and mm. kind of commit economic terrorism. And I'm sure the NCAA would have been part of that. Um, but, you know, ultimately, when it comes down to this, there's lots of states that are passing this legislation. We're up to, I think, 29 states have introduced women's sports legislation. Uh, Tennessee and Arkansas are preparing to sign legislation. And, you know, Christy Nome's on Tucker talking about how she wants to form a coalition. Well, it's already here. You know, join the party. Oh, yeah. um, we'd love to have South Dakota. And I think a lot of the legislators in South Dakota would be thrilled to see it passed. Unfortunately, yes. uh, she's, she's listening to the wrong people. You're so right, John. She said last night, she said, um, well, my advisors and lawyers and whatever, they said we need to form a coalition of people against this or something. And you're so right. <laughs> it's already there. Well, What's what Amazon's? That? Yeah, I don't even know what that even means. Like, what, I don't even know what that goal would look like. It's already here. What is, um, what's Amazon's role in this? Well, Amazon uh, has a uh, fulfillment center that they're building in Sioux Falls, South Dakota. It would create a thousand jobs. Uh, it's coming online sometime next year. And so as we've seen, uh, this isn't just Amazon, but a lot of these companies do it. You know, when they bring economic activity to these smaller states, they like to have a role in the policies that are passed through the legislature. And so, uh, you know, the Amazon stuff, it's been mostly rumor. Uh, I haven't seen it confirmed but it's uh, thought that they've been uh, influencing the process there and, and pushing hard against any legislation that they would deem to be anti-LGBT or anything like that. Wow, if that's true, that I think is the biggest story of it all. That mm -hmm. Amazon, the, the Goliath behemoth that they are, can come in and sway a state's pro on, on something that has nothing to do with them. Like I understand uh, Amazon coming in and like arguing for a higher minimum wage to knock out competitors so that they can become even bigger. That makes sense. It's wrong, but it makes sense. But right. like transgender, like what, what, is, what is Amazon even doing here? Like that's a, a social effort that, um, that, that, that's I think the big story if that's true. Um, what's the argument against these bills? So what's the argument that people are making that boys should be allowed to compete in girls sports? Cause it's never the other way around, right? There's no girl, well, maybe there are, but the girls competing in boys, boys sports, right? But right. why, why shouldn't boys be allowed to compete in girls sports? 
Well, I think I think, you know, the argument from the left on this is that uh, there should be fairness for transgender athletes, too. And I do want to point out that these bills don't prevent transgender athletes from competing in sports. They would just compete in the boys division because obviously a biological male uh, has, you know, inherent advantages, physical advantages over women. And we've seen that across the country in these uh, competitions that transgender uh, males have, have competed in. But, you know, ultimately they're they're saying that this is about uh, transgender rights and that uh, any effort to uh, preserve a private space or, or an athletic competition for girls is discriminatory, discriminatory in its nature. And, um, you know, we disagree with that. I think we, we recognize that we've had uh, you know, we have two distinct biological sexes. Uh, we're different, and that's okay. And when it comes to competition, just because women uh, might not be, you know, as strong or physically, uh, you know, fast or whatever as men, doesn't mean that they shouldn't have the right to have the, this competition. Uh, Tom Cotton, Senator Tom Cotton, brought this up on the Senate floor the other night. But, you know, we're talking about Jackie Joyner Kersey, one of the greatest runners of all time. I mean, just an incredible athlete. And last year, 75 or 80 high school males uh, beat her records in the United States, wow. right? Like there's just a difference. And that doesn't mean, that doesn't take anything away from Jackie Joyner Kersey. She's one of the most incredible athletes of all time. But, you know, there are differences and, and we need to recognize that. And, and our statutes need to recognize that. Yeah. Um, it's weird that like the argument is, well, let's just have Let's just get rid of girls' sports entirely. We'll just have one, one, all, men and women compete against each other. And there's always this weird thing that we play every once in a while. It comes up where, like, John McEnroe, a couple years ago, was asked out of nowhere where Serena Williams would rank if she were playing in the men's circuit. And he's like, mm -hmm. oh, I don't know, like 700. And everyone freaked out, like, oh, how could you say that? Blah, blah, blah. And then finally they asked Serena, and she's like, oh, yeah, probably. <laughs> like I'd get crushed. So we like to pretend for some reason that girls can compete against men in sports. And it's absolutely absurd, as you well, mentioned with the Jackie Joyner Kersey. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I don't think it takes anything away to have elite women's sports and elite men's sports. You can recognize that they're different games, that they're different, you know, activities, but it doesn't, you know, women, female athletes who excel in that setting are elite. They're great. You know, we don't have to have them competing against men in a in a you know a fake contest to see that. So I I, I just think it's kind of sad. I it's kind of like feminism taken to this insane extreme yeah. to the point where most yeah. feminists are against this. And yeah, uh, yeah. yeah. yeah it ruins women's sports. What a bizarre right. thing to do. Uh, Jim Schwepp, man, great to talk to you. Policy director at American Principles Project, and I'm new to the American Principles Project, so I look forward to talking to you guys more. Would love to. Thanks for having me on. Thanks, brother. Yeah, the American Principles Project, all about the, the family and supporting the family and strengthening the family. All right, everyone, have a superb day. We'll do it again tomorrow. Spread the word.